What's going on guys? Super Nintendo here with, well, another knighthood video. That's right. And in this video, we're going to go over the minions. No, 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 no. Not those minions. These minions. So, let's get to it. Alrighty, so we're going to do the minion video in two different videos. Part one, we're going to go over Estellian and Highguard. And in part two, we'll go over Mirfin, White Peak, and Realm of Fire. So, the first minion we're going to go over that's in, well, Estelia is the Pell Viger, an unusually intelligent beast that cannot be tamed, but would possibly tolerate and even respect a strong warrior. Hmm. Pelviger can be found in the barren woods, which is again in Estellian, and it must be captured with the champion gauntlet. And when it is captured, it will start at level 15. And if you already had this guy, you will get 10 chewy bones if you capture it as a duplicate. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go over the goblin commander. These armored goblins are a bit smarter than many of their kind. They're certainly smart enough to switch sides if there's a better offer. Huh? Typical goblin, I guess. <laughs> the goblin commander can be found in the Limestone Heights hunt, and it must be captured with the Chaotic Goblin. Uh, when you capture this bad boy, he will start at level 3. Uh, but if you already have him and you capture him again, you will get 10 rat burgers uh, as the duplicate reward. And again, all these items that you get for duplicates, you use on them to power them up to make them stronger in the arena. It's pretty cool. Alright, so Goblin Flesh Crusher. Flesh Crushers are elite warriors, but their loyalty can be easily bought in with a few rat burgers. <laughs> So the Goblin Flesh Crusher can be found in the Abandoned Mine Hunt. And you do need the Chaotic Gauntlet to capture this guy. And I don't rem I can't recall what level you get him at, but if you do already have this guy, you do get 20 Rat Burgers as, well, the duplicate reward. Alrighty, so now we have the Outlaw Knifer. These Swift Bandits are fast and deadly and serve no cause but their own. The Outlaw Knifer can be found in the Guildwood Hunt, and you do need the Lawful Gauntlet to defeat this guy. And if you do capture him, he will start at level 1. And if you already have this guy, you will get 10 Lizards on a stick. Alrighty, so those were all the minions that you can capture in Estelia. So now we're going to move over to Highguard. You can capture 8 minions in Highguard, it is the most minions you can capture. So. Let's get to High Guard. First one up is Battle Bear. You know you've made it when you have an armored bear by your side. <laughs> I love how that's the only text to it. But the Battle Bear can be found in the Clobberberry Woods Hunt. Uh, you do need the Champion's Gauntlet to capture this guy. And the bear does start at level 15. Capturing a duplicate of this bear will give you 20 chewy bones. Up next is Wild Hog. This plucky boar wants to take on the world. Maybe you could convince it to fight for you instead? Uh, this one is the, the hog that wants to be a dog. <laughs> um, but this wild hog can be found in the Oakwood Hunt. Uh, you do need the Knight Scotland to capture this one. He will start out at level 5. If you already have the wild hog, you do get 10 chewy bones as the duplicate reward. Alright, so dead parrot. It's not dead. It's pinning for the Fjord. Beautiful plumage, though. The dead parrot can be found in the Bramble View Hunt. Uh, you do need the Knight's Gauntlet for this dead bird. <laughs> and if you do capture it, you do start at level 5. Uh, capturing a duplicate of this will give you 10 unbred. Alright, so Gagan Initiate is up next. In order to join the High Orders of the Cult of Gagan, an uh, Initiate must wear the Mask of Power for a year and a day. You can find Gagan Initiate in the Skarush Hunt, 
and you do need the Knight's Gauntlet to get this guy. I don't remember what level you get him at, and I can't remember what you get as the duplicate reward for him. Unfortunately, I can't really find that much information on him. Alrighty, so Ancient Centurion is up next. This ancient soldier wanders the world in search of new adventures. Perhaps he would even follow a knight in battle? Question mark? Ancient Satyrian can be found in the Brilmer Islands hunt. Uh, you do need the Knight Gauntlet for this skeleton, and he will start at level 10. Capturing a duplicate of this skeleton will give you 10 unbred. Alright, so Harpy Matriarch is next. Transforming by ancient cult magic, the Harpy Matriarchs can use their healing powers to assist you, if you can convince them to fight by your side. The Harpy Matriarch can be found in the Brilmar Islands and the Imperial Coast Hunt. It must be captured with the Maniacal Gauntlet. Uh, when it does get captured, it will start at level 10, and if you will get 10 Witch Brews. Alrighty, so we got High Guard Drought Master. Although the most skilled of the High Guard Militia Alchemists, Drought Masters will fight for whoever gives them the most opportunity to experiment. <laughs> The High Guard Drought Master can be found in the Imperial Coast and High Port Hunt. You do need the Maverick Gauntlet to capture this guy, so it's going to be a little bit before you get him. And when you do capture him, he will start at level 10. And if you already have this guy, you will get 10 chicken pies. Hopefully they're KFC ones. Alrighty, so the last minion we're going to go over in High Guard is the Corrosive Spider. If you can tame one of these spiders, they will fight at your side with their armored skin and corrosive webbing. The corrosive spider can be found in the Boro Point Hunt, and you do need the Rebel Gauntlet for this one. When you do capture this spider, it will start at level five, and capturing a duplicate of this spider will give you one Chewy Bone. Alrighty, so those were all the minions in part one. Uh, part two will be coming out soon. Definitely leave a comment down below if you would like a part two to come out sooner. <laughs> But anyways, I hope this helped you folks out to find the certain minions to capture. You do need to capture two minions for all the weekly, uh, well, quests. So this should help you out to find where they're at. And if you guys have been following me, you do know about my transmog competitions. So we are going to be running the second transmog competition. And this one's going to be a little different than the first one, since we can now have heroes with us in the background i want a transmog that's you and two heroes and i want a story with it give me some details you know like lore of your character kind of background it helps me judge it a little bit better explain a little bit of your well transmog so we are going to start the transmog it is on my facebook uh, you do have till now till the end of the month to enter it i will have a post for you to enter your screenshots give me a little detail in it and on June 4th, I will be doing a live stream on my Facebook going over all the transmogs to pick a winner. We will do first, second, and third prizes. Um, first prize will get a $25 gift card to whichever iOS or Android. The second place will get a $15 gift card, again, for iOS or Android. And then the last place will get a $5 gift card to iOS or Android. So if you'd like to enter that, definitely click the link down below. Go check out the Super Nintendo Facebook and that, and it will have more info there. So that was the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And if you didn't, put a thumbs down. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and slam that bell for more Night Hoodie videos. And leave a comment down below. I really hope this video helped you guys. And if it did, tell me down below. Makes me feel better about myself. Like I say in all my videos, guys, peace.